House Democrats are wrangling with this issue of impeachment. There are voices on the left and even not on the left in, the, in, the, in other parts of the caucus and in the country who want to see the House Democrats begin impeachment proceedings against President Trump. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has said uh, the House is not there yet. She said, um, you know, you need to have um, a bipartisan support for this and you need to have evidence. Some say in many ways what we're seeing play out right now on Capitol Hill is a is a distinction without a difference. In many ways, what House Democrats are doing uh, are um, beginning the investigations that could lead to impeachment proceedings at some point. Of course, they're not there yet, and we don't know if it, it will get there, but they are, they are conducting these investigations of the Trump administration, of his family uh, business, and of the way the Trump administration interacted with Special Counsel Robert Mueller's probe to see um, if, if there are grounds that, that rise to that level. This is setting up a showdown between Congress and the Trump administration over what Democrats really see as the Trump administration's stonewalling of the, of the legislative branch. Democrats see this as part of Congress's role to conduct oversight of the administration, and they say the president is, is, uh, is, is stopping them. Of course, President Trump says these investigations should be over. Um, he says special counsel Robert Mueller did his job. These weeks on Capitol Hill will be pivotal. We'll be watching to see if the House is able to hear from Special Counsel Robert Mueller, from uh, White House Counsel Don McGahn, and if the House takes these votes to hold any of these officials in contempt of Congress, which would be an enormous step on Capitol Hill. We'll be watching the weeks ahead. A lot of it is uh, still to be, to be seen, but it seems that these investigations are going to be continuing for a long time to come.